you guys are looking for an easy way to capture your video game gameplay or you want to start live streaming on services like Twitch, I've got an awesome piece of software that I want to show you, so stick around and check it out. Alright guys, so the software that I wanted to show you guys today is called Cyberlink Screen Recorder 3. And this is hot off the press, it's brand new. Cyberlink just released their latest version and they sent it over to me because they wanted me to do a review and show it to you. So I've been playing with Screen Recorder 3 for a little while now and I can honestly say it is just as easy to do and to use as I expected it would be. Um, just like Cyberlink kind of said, they said it was going to be easy to use and a powerful tool and you know what, it is. So today I wanted to show you just a real quick rundown of all the features that it has available um, and then some of the ways that you might be able to use it to, to record your screen, record your gameplay and get it prepared for like YouTube and other services like that. Or if you want to live stream, it can do that too. So let's take a look and let me break down the software um, so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And then I'll show you some of the footage that I recorded using it. All right, guys, so when you first open up Screen Recorder 3, you automatically enter into the full screen Screen Recorder mode. And so this guy right here, it basically you can see that it's got my full screen kind of... Uh, it's, it's, it's capturing my full screen here um, and you've got a lot of different options so you've got original resolution 1080p 720p 480p um, so this is going to allow you to kind of record the quality that you're looking to record so if you're not trying to make 1080p content um, you don't really need to make it um, you know 1080p you could drop it down to 720p you're going to save some file size you're going to make your video editing a little bit smoother because you're not going to have to load up these mega you know these big file pieces of file footage um, to edit down uh, or to render so that's going to make it a little bit easier um, you have control over your frame rate um, so you can kind of adjust the frame rate there um, right out of the box it automatically comes with the original resolution and original resolution is the resolution of the screen and so in this scenario mine's 1080p um, my, my screen is a 1080p monitor so it's automatically going to use the 1080p option so um, I don't have to do anything there um, you can have it automatically record your mouse clicks um, and so by doing that you just select what color you want them to kind of look like um, and it's great so it, it makes it really really easy to um, you know to show to highlight if you're going to be clicking on things or doing like uh, video tutorials of software um, or if you want people to see your gameplay clicks and stuff like that where you're clicking on the screen and stuff like that um, it can make it really easy to highlight that um, you can choose if you want to turn your webcam on um, yes or no you can do your microphone as well so if you're recording gameplay um, and you're live streaming or you know you're doing like that kind of thing you might not want to double down on the audio and so you can turn the microphone on or off which is pretty awesome um, the other thing that's great is you can even set a time limit so you could say okay when I hit record, I want you to record the next, you know, 20 minutes of, of, of footage or the next one minute of footage if you're trying to get small clips or, um, you know, you can you can just get a little bit more creative with that or so, you know, if you wanted to, you know, to do that kind of thing. It just makes it easy to control uh, with a time limit recording option, which is great. So you could kind of hit record and, you know, for a certain period of time, hands off, do whatever you're going to do and know that it will automatically stop the recording after a set amount of time. Uh, then we move over to the game section. Game section, very, very similar. Um, you can check which uh, which software you want to have it connect to. Um, and so, um, you know, you can pick what, whatever's open. I don't have anything else open except for OBS and things like that. So um, I have the options to select which window I want to choose. Um, you can also then also turn on your, uh, your time limit, your webcam, or your microphone as well. Same thing. Um, lock to app is the same kind of thing. So what you would do in this scenario is you would select the application that you want to, um, to have it basically lock to um, and no matter where you move that screen or move that application it will just follow that screen around which is really convenient um, custom is basically you just make a selection and you pick the portion of the screen that you want to record um, you know a lot of software can do this but this one does it and it's very very simple um, and you can adjust it by just moving the uh, the corners here and make it super simple and it shows you the resolution of the recording uh, down below as you make those alterations to the size then you have the last option, which is device. Uh, basically, you can choose uh, the input device, so you could record from a video camera, from uh, from an external monitor. So you could do uh, like you know, like if you have, or if you have a, a capture card, you could record from a capture card. Um, so you can use this to do multi multi device streaming or or recording, which is great. Uh, same options: video resolution, FPS, webcam, microphone. Same settings there. Um, so super simple, makes it really easy to do the recording that you're looking to do. Um, and that's that's it for the recording side. It's very very simple, very straightforward. Forward, um, but powerful customizable and allows you to do a lot of things and has a lot of functions that allow you to kind of get more creative with the content that you're recording so now we move over to the stream tab now 
just like I said, guys, if you're looking at making just easy, if you're really just wanting to just learn how to kind of start going live on Twitch um, or Facebook or YouTube, it's really, really simple. Um, you literally just click on which one you're looking to to connect to and you hit log in. It's going to take you through that the login process for that. So um, it'll open up a web browser and have you log into Twitch. So we hit that. Um, it'll authorize that you, you're going to basically authorize access to your stream key and things like that through Twitch. You go to YouTube, same thing, disclaimers. It's going to have you log in um, and it's going to gain access to the streaming stuff that it needs to do um, from there you're going to basically just pick your resolution um, and then you're going to change your video format and your live url um, it's going to it's going to produce a live url that you're going to basically select and be able to stream um, or basically do anything like that so it makes it really simple and easy to do um, and then you can also just check this box and save your streamed video to disk so this was a feature that was actually really cool when i saw just hitting that tick box because it's going to allow me to stream do all my streaming stuff but then it's also going to save a recording to my to my computer at the same time without having to do two separate things um, so for example in contrast if you go into OBS you hit start streaming and then you have to start hit start recording so it's two steps um, this just makes it easy in one you just hit live and you go and it's that simple very nice feature if you want to do editing on your video later for say YouTube or something like that it makes it really simple all right, so now let's jump into these settings. So let's get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty. So general settings, you got your basic stuff always on top, minimize after launch, minimize when recording and streaming starts. So this is the window. So this window here is going to minimize, um, you know, when the recording starts and stops. So that's kind of nice. Um, show when recording and streaming is complete, um, automatically check for updates, blah, 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 same thing. So file, you get to choose your, uh, your folder extension. So if you're trying to record uh, your video or if you're trying to save the streamed video, so this, if you hit that, check that box, the save streamed video to disk, um, you're this is where you would tell it where you're gonna be saving that. Um, and then you can have it also append something to the, um, to the file name. So in this example, what I did is I just put CSR three. So, which is, um, you know, Cyberlink stream recorder three, and it'll put that at the end of every single, uh, video file, which is great video options, um, monitor setup. So you can have it automatically detect the monitor that you use mostly for gaming. So I put my streaming service or my streaming and recording software on one screen and I do all of my gameplay on another screen and I can automatically tell it which stream it is that I want to, that I want to start capturing right away. Um, or I can change it on the fly, depending on what I want to do. Um, enable hardware encoding. Um, it just adds to your performance. So if you've got a nice, you know, powerful GPU, um, you can check that box and it's going to help out with the recording or the streaming as well. Um, um, creating an MR key file so that's you know recording so it just makes it easier if you use power director to record uh, which I do which is nice so this makes it so keeping with the cyberlink family of software they like to make it easier for you to do your your editing and recording within their ecosystem of software so they've got audio software uh, you know now they have recording software editing editing software they've got everything that you need and so just by clicking that it just makes everything easier to load into uh, cyberlink power director which is the software that I use to do my editing um, lock applications record only select a window and then your bitrate you can adjust um, here as well with the little slider from there we go to audio uh, microphone on off system audio on off you get the mix so you can adjust if you want because if you have both of these turned on um, they're going to be competing for for you know the, the you, they're going to compete for the sound that you want to hear. So if you're playing a really high intense, a lot of sound games going on, um, you'll want to switch more towards the microphone side so that people will hear you more over the top of the gaming software or over the gaming sounds. So you want to make sure that you have that kind of adjusted the way you want it. Um, you can choose your microphone set up here, the mic volume. Um, it'll show you your, your audio slider there. Input devices. Um, you know, it just it just gives you all the freedom to do your to do your microphone stuff there. Webcam, same thing. Um, you know, my webcam is currently in use because I'm, that's what I'm using to record. Um, but you can do the um, <laughs> letting me know that it's not available because it's not. Um, we're gonna get rid of that. All right. So hotkeys. Um, so this is really nice. So this is just the easy way. So if you're using, you know, a Stream Deck or anything like that, or or for my example, I use a Logitech uh, G710 Plus, which has a set of G keys along the left side. And what I do is I can create shortcuts um, on all of those to correlate with all these so start and stopping recording or streaming pausing resuming recording microphone on and off webcam on and off and it makes it just really easy to you know if i need to step away for a minute camera off microphone muted that kind of thing and take a screenshot you know it just allows you to do that kind of stuff um, and then they have their improvement program so this just allows you to send back files that you know they're not designated they don't send, share any personal information but it sends it back to them if there's crashes um, or your usage information that they can use to produce and make this software better as time goes by 
So that's it guys. Um, so stream recorder three, I've been using for a little while now. Um, the, uh, the video that I recorded has been great. You know, I've used a lot of video recording software like OBS, um, Nvidia's built in shadow play stuff. Um, and it, it, it's, it's right up on par with everything else. So if you're looking for a solution that's going to make it easier for you to record your stuff, um, and even get involved in live streaming, if that's something you're looking to do, um, stream or screen recorder three by Cyberlink is something that you should definitely take a look at. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below for you to check it out. But as far as I'm concerned um it's great quality software so really quickly before i let you go let's take a few look at a few clips that i that i created using screen recorder 3. Right, right, right of us, right of us, east of us, or, uh, or east of us, yeah. He's coming around my side, north. I got him. So as you can see, guys, the quality is great. It's super high quality. Um, it looks, you know, just like any other software out there would. Um, but like I said, guys, hopefully this made it easy for you to see why this is such a great solution for your recording or streaming needs. Um, I'm going to be using it going forward to record my video uh, for my gameplay and stuff like that. But um, hopefully this sheds some light on it. Uh, as far as a review goes, I think it's fantastic. Um, it's really easy to use. It's lightweight. You don't even know it's there. If you get your hotkeys set up, um, it makes it super easy to adjust your you know starting and stopping recording you know taking screenshots and stuff like that it just makes it really easy it's all packaged into one piece of software that's just really straightforward and easy to use um and so overall i think it's fantastic hopefully you do too if you want to learn more like i said guys there's a link in the description below make sure you check that out there um, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you like this video and you want to see other reviews uh plug and play i do reviews of hardware from microphones cameras lighting all sorts of stuff and software mobile apps that are designed for content creators like me and like you to help you make your content better so if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning and seeing more of please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time hey guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to check out the other videos that are popping up right over here as well as don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome reviews and i'll see you guys next time